Hello, are you thinking of buying the Honeywell T3 or the T4 programmable room thermostat? If you're wondering what the differences are between these two programmers, then this video is going to explain those differences so you can make a good choice and get the programmer that's going to suit you best. If you're looking for more information about the Honeywell T3 or the T4 programmer, then of course I've made separate videos all about these two programmers. Now I found six differences between these two programmers, but there's only a couple of differences which would really make me choose one over the other. Towards the end of the video, I will sum up the differences between these two programmers, then give you the reasons why I'll choose the T4 over the T3. If you are looking to purchase one of these programmers, then I have left links in the description below taking you to all the programmers I have mentioned, along with links to all my videos. My name is Mark Ballard and I've been a gas registered engineer for over 20 years. The aim of my channel is to help you with your central heating and your plumbing. If you found my video useful in any way, then please give me some feedback by clicking on that thumbs up. That will also help others to find the video. And of course you can click on subscribe and then you'll get a notification the next time I upload a help video. And of course share the video with your friends. And I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who's left a donation to my toolbox fund. It's really appreciated and it helped me to make more videos which will hopefully help you. Right, now let's get on with the video and I'll show you the differences between these two programmers. All the links throughout this video can be found in the description below, at the end of the video, or in the cards above. Here we are, here's the two units next to each other. We have the T3R and the T4R. Now both these units are wireless units, but it doesn't matter whether you want the wired in versions, which would be the T3 and the T4, the programming of them is exactly the same. So I'll show you what the differences are between them. In case you are unsure, both these units only control your central heating. They do not control your hot water in any way at all. Now both these programmers are very nice units, I use them all the time and people really like them. The T3R is a much simpler look as you can see. You've got a nice shiny front here, you just got the two buttons on the front here and you just got the room temperature and the time on the top there. And you can buy this unit in the UK around the £80 mark. With the T4R, obviously you now have a bigger screen. Again, it's a nice shiny unit and you've got all the functions or, or most of the functions showing on the front here. And you've also got the three buttons showing on the bottom there. And you can get the T4R in the UK for around 115 pounds. Both these units have their stands. So if you want to put them on a stand and put them somewhere in the house, you can do that. They just clip onto that and then you can position the unit anywhere in the house or even carry it around with you. This is what some people do. Both of them have wall brackets. So if you want to fit them to a wall, you can fit both these units to the wall. Now, because the way this is filmed, it may look like these two units are different sizes, but they are in fact exactly the same size. So there is no difference there. Now, just so you know, both these units have AA batteries in them. This one has it in the front here. We've got two AA batteries and then we've got two AA batteries in the back of this unit. So if we look in the back of that one, that's where those batteries are. So according to the book, the battery life on these two units should be about two years. Now, besides the obvious looks which are different between these two programmers, I consider there to be only three main differences between them. If you find another difference, then maybe you can leave it in the comments for other people to see. But both are very good programmers and I'd recommend either one of them. Now the differences between them, if I open this one here up, this has a door on the front of it. We have the three buttons along the bottom, the same as you got along here. Now to quickly run through the differences between them, the T4R has more functions. The first one being the number of time settings it can have during the day. So you can change it from the default, which is four, to six, which then gives you more options and two extra time settings in the day. Whereas the T3 only has four time settings in the day. The second difference is when you manually adjust the temperature when you're in auto. Once you've adjusted that temperature, the T4 will stay at that setting until it gets to its next time setting, where it will then revert back to that time setting. The T3 works in exactly the same way. We can put the temperature up or temperature down and it will stay at that until it reaches its next time setting where it will then revert back to the auto setting. Now on the T3, you can also add a timer to this override function. So when we push the up arrow, the temperature goes up, we get to our set temperature, then we press the button underneath the plus one H standing for one hour, but we can only set it for one hour. It doesn't allow any more hours to be added. 
and then it will count down for one hour and revert back to programmer again. The T4 also has a timer. You adjust your temperature, then you press this button here. You then have a timer from one to 23 hours. You then adjust the number of hours you would like, and then you press the tick, and then on the display, you'll have the number of hours you've set and also the set temperature. It will then count down and then revert back to the programmer when it's finished the timer. To cancel, just push this button here and it will go back to the auto setting. Another function that the T4 has that the T3 doesn't is the away button or holiday mode. If we push this button here, we have the menu comes up and you can see the suitcase on the end here. We can scroll along to the suitcase. We can press tick. That's take us into the holiday mode. We can now put the number of days in that we're going to go on holiday. So say you have winter holidays, a skiing holiday or something. We can then press tick. And then we can then set the temperature you want to keep the house at whilst you're away. So you can turn that down to say 15 degrees. Press tick again. And now it's saving that. And you'll see the display that now comes up with a suitcase on the front of it. And it says seven days. And you've got a set temperature of 15 degrees. Now to get out of that, again, we just need to go into menu. Because obviously you can see the only one highlighted along the bottom here now is a menu. So we go into menu. We scroll along to the suitcase again. I just press tick. And that then cancels that function. The last difference between these two units is the lock function. They both have a lock function, but they work slightly differently. To lock the T4, press menu, then scroll along to the padlock. You then press tick, and then you'll see on, then you press tick again, and then it's saved. Now the unit is locked. You'll then see a padlock in the display, and all the buttons would have stopped working, including the buttons to adjust the temperature up and down. To lock the T3 is very similar. We push and hold these two buttons for four seconds. The units will then lock and save, and you'll see a padlock in the top right hand corner. Now we cannot make any adjustment with these three buttons on the bottom, but we can still make temperature adjustments. When I press the plus button, you'll see the set temperature rises. And now we can also put the temperature down, but we cannot make any adjustments to any of the settings. I think this is a particularly useful function if you have an older person in the property and you want them to be able to adjust the temperature but not mess up any of the controls. Now there is no reference on the screen of how to unlock these units but all you need to do is press these two buttons for three to four seconds and the unit will unlock. The T3 works exactly the same. So just a couple of differences I just want to go over, which I didn't note in the video. And uh, because they're, they're pretty much the, the same, but they just do it in a slightly different way. For instance, the T3 here, when you set the time and the date, that's all in, in one function. So it's, it's all on the one menu, the time and the date at the same time. Whereas on the T4, it's broken down into two separate icons in the menu, which kind of means they do exactly the same thing. And the T4 also has an additional setting for the day. So it has a one day setting. So if you set that one day, it'll then make all the week the same. Obviously, you can do exactly the same with the T3. You just copy all the days across so that all the days are, are then the same. So both of them, they do exactly the same thing, but in a slightly different way. So just to sum up on these two programmers, which one do you choose, the T3 or the T4? Now they're both very good programmers and they both do exactly the same job. And I use both of them on my installations and when replacing programmers. But in general, I find people choose the T3 just because it's a simpler programmer. Now, obviously, the T4, you do have the bigger screen and you do have more functions and all the buttons are on display. Uh, and, and there's just more on the screen. Now, sometimes that can be a little confusing and a bit intimidating. Whereas the T3, it's just a simpler programmer. It's, it's just got the uh, two buttons on the side, the plus and minus, and the other three buttons aren't on display. And it's just less to see on the screen. So I just generally find it's a simpler and more straightforward programmer to use. So if that's what you're looking for, then the T3 is the perfect option. Now, the only downside to this programmer, in my opinion, is the fact that it only has four time settings. And I would much prefer to have six time settings so I have more options during the day. 
But if you're just looking to turn your heating on in the morning and then turn it off again in the morning and then turn it on again in the afternoon and then off again on the evening, then this program is perfect. You don't need any more time settings. And that's why I would choose the T4 over the T3. But if you are looking for a more advanced program, then probably the T4 is the one for you. Obviously, the three main differences being that it has six time settings, it has the holiday mode, and it also has the override timer. So this programmer does have more options. And obviously, you've got the bigger screen, you've got more on the screen, and all the buttons are on display. Now, as I've said before, these programmers are very intuitive. So if you can use your mobile phone, then you'll be able to use this programmer and go through the functions and set it up and use it without any problem at all. So finally, I just wanted to run over that why I would choose the T4 and choose six time settings. Now, the reason I would choose six time settings is so that I can set up my, my heating through the day just to make it more efficient. So say in the morning, I would have my heating come on, say at seven o'clock, and I set that to say 22 degrees. And then at nine o'clock, I then turn the heating off and I then turn my heating down to 10 degrees. And then at 12 o'clock, I then put another time setting in so that if anyone adjusts the temperature in the morning at 12 12 o'clock it will then go off again so it's not then running all through the day and then if someone then adjusts the temperature in the afternoon it will then go back to the program again where I have my next time setting at four o'clock but I'm still running around the kids are running around you don't be too hot but you do want the house to be warm so at four o'clock I would say set my heat into 20 degrees and then that would be nice and warm and then later on, when I sit down and watch TV, I then want the house a little bit warmer because you're not moving there. It's nice to be a bit warmer. So at six o'clock, I might set it up to 22 degrees. And then at later on at night, say 10 o'clock, I then turn it right off down to 10 degrees. And that uses up six time settings. And that's why I would choose six time settings over four. And that's the way I've had my programmer set for the last 20 years. And it just means you run your heating just that little bit more efficiently. Right, that's about it then. So I do hope my video has been helpful to you. If it has, then please give me that little bit of feedback by clicking on that thumbs up. And like I said, that will help others to find the video. And of course you can click on subscribe and that way you'll get a notification the next time I upload a help video. And of course you can click on the link to see my next video. And of course there's always my toolbox fund. Bye for now and I'll see you next time.